guys, how you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I am your host, Andrew Reader Lorraine, and I'm here to give you your weekly energy reading for the elements, um, for the air signs, okay? So this is um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I was doing them dailies, but I've got so much things that I'm doing at the moment, I'm now having to do them on a weekly basis. So this is going to be from the 23rd of March right through to the 29th of March. So please do take what resonates as well. Thank you guys as well for subscribing to my channel. Um, don't forget this is timeless. You can actually follow me on Instagram, so you can always just click on the link on my um, cover art um, on the homepage and then it will take you straight to my Instagram page where you will see that I do um, a couple of posts a day. Guys, now Aries, um, I mentioned Aries for some strange reason. We are actually coming into Aries season, okay? Um, so, because we're practically leaving March now. So this is gonna be a time, um, real action-y, action -y action, okay? This is about, seriously, obviously, the way how things are at the moment, but I feel that in this time of reflection, there is going to be a lot of activity where action taken is concerned decisions are going to be made so this is a real time um, for you know some serious deep soul searching we've actually um, from yesterday I'm um, filming this on the 22nd of March okay yesterday Saturday 21st of March um, Saturn went into Aquarius so um, it has literally been a time of whether it's just going to be it's just going to be a massive shift okay and it's going to be a lot of thinking process a lot of introspection really looking at um you know what's going on with you in fact you have nowhere to run or hide okay and this is where i feel that coming now into the airy season because the pisces season is even and pisces is quite the emotional you know kind of um, water sign energy but now what is going to be happening now with the fire sign energy coming in plus it is um, the first sort of like month of the um, astrological um, cycle so it's literally going to be um, new beginnings you know painful endings new beginnings but it's going to be coming in with like not brute force but this is force that has to it has to happen okay it has to happen we, the, the, there's no more procrastinating now there's none of that now things are never the same again okay and the, i think it was um 26 years that saturn was out from aquarius okay so this is this is no coincidence and of all the times to come in where we're all you know in our situation of being locked down and really now having to be left alone without own, to our own devices and our own thoughts there's nowhere to run and hide. It's about facing the facts, facing the fears to, in order to get to the facts. And then it's about decision making. So guys, this is really going to be um, a time of that. So let's see what's actually going to be picking up on your readings from the 23rd right through uh, Monday the 23rd right through to Sunday the 29th of March 2020. So this is going to be for the gorgeous, beautiful, brilliant Aquarius gemini's and the libras okay so what we're going to do we're going to get stuck in with your cartomancy okay let's get stuck in with your cartomancy first and see what's going on with you guys now i'm going to pull some cards as well um i'm, I'm going to pull four cards and i may need to clarify and see what's going on okay so the first card that we've got Cartomancy first. This is kind of like the overall energy of the reading. And so as you can see, this is the clover. So this is about um, sort of like good good news coming in after a bad episode. Got good luck coming in your way. Finally. Okay, I know it's been a long time coming, guys, but sometimes you find that the you know it's about receiving the luck at the time of when it's like divinely guided for you to get the luck now coming in because you know for some of you guys maybe there was um lack of awareness or like not really wanting to face the issues that was going on in your life um and obviously this is also to do with cycles that were ending as well okay so this is about a new beginning this is about you getting um balanced 
This is also to do with partnership as well. So if you're expecting um, somebody to come back into your life, this could be the time of when you might be hearing something good. Um, but this is definitely about sort of like coming out from um, bad times, okay? Bad tidings, um, feeling that it was not really going to be going your way. But this is about, you know, finally a bit of like lady luck that's coming in to kind of like put now things into some form of balanced order. Order over the chaos. Order over the chaos. Now let's see what this card is about. Let's pull for the tarot just to see and clarify why this card is here. Yeah, looking forward. Three of Wands. So your back is against and um, you've put set things behind your back. No more spending time and energy and effort into something that you know you knew deep down inside it wasn't working all right you knew deep down inside it wasn't working and this is about now having now um the strong desire now to move forward with your life okay so this is definitely um it fits in definitely with this two this two card which is the clover okay um and obviously um you know four leaf clover as well is to do with that good luck as well so um i also do see that some of you guys are getting um, certain people that's wishing you good luck but some of you guys are actually leaving a situation behind in, in order to embark on a new journey right about now this obviously isn't going to be happening but we're going to see what's happening between now um and say the into april obviously um you know these readings are going to be timeless but due to the circumstances right now, I feel that this is more to do with like mental preparation. Some of you guys could be like writing up your lists, thinking about what it is that you need to prepare for, from what it is that you don't need to prepare for, living conditions. I do sense this is more overseas. Um, for some of you guys, this is leaving a job behind as well, or going into new employment. Um, and for some, for a small um, section of you guys, this will be about you actually having to work abroad as well right now let's get into your tarot guys please excuse my cat you can hear him through i know he's going to come through the the microphone so guys please do excuse me all right or excuse him it's not me guys let's go with your reading i'm going to pull four cards for you so it's happening all right first card we've got is the emperor now guys as i said to you um as i've been saying before 2020 um two and two is four four is um major belongs to major kind of the emperor and this is also the year of the emperor as well okay um last year we had number three so this was about you know for um the empress energy that was coming in this year is about stability obviously with regards to what's going on now everybody is thinking hard about their stability they're thinking hard about their security they're thinking hard about the money the businesses the work right now is it, in some cases this is about love but right now you need to be stable before you can actually step into a stable relationship and have a relationship that is going to be strong and stabilized if you're not if your finance is not really on point darlings there's no point in getting yourself into a relationship and i feel that this is what's really going on with you all really if you can see how this card this emperor is really focusing he's really sitting down there's a lot of strategy before he makes his moves because remember we're going into the airy season as well this is um aries energy fire sign energy um for some of you, you could have Aries in your chart and um, for some of you, you could actually be dealing with an Aries and this person is really having a um, real um, deliberation about what they're going to do with you, how they're going to proceed with you. If that is the case for what I'm picking up here, there's a little bit of a control battle going on, a bit, a bit of a power struggle going on because I feel that they can't seem to grasp you very well. So if it, Because remember, some of them is about control and, and stubbornness as well. But I feel that they've underestimated, um, especially Aquarius. If you are Aquarius and you're dealing with an Aries, um, I feel that if they've underestimated you, um, if they were trying to control you, I think they've kind of met their match. Because Aquarians don't have that. And because obviously this is like going into like Aquarius now, the Saturn is in Aquarius. Babes, the, I feel sorry for this emperor. 
if they think that they're going to have you in that kind of way okay that's not going to be the case but if this is you if the, if you don't have an aries person in your in your life or you know another energy or where you have experienced a situation where somebody wants to sort of like be the leader and taking the leading role this is what you are going to be doing for yourself right you're doing you and this is a, a really really excellent card to have at the beginning of your spread i love this air sign all right let's see what the next card is mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got two cards that's come out together. Now, some of you guys, somebody's coming, making their way to you with an apology. They're also offering you something solid. Somebody has realized, oh my gosh, I was in the wrong. I need to go and make amends. I need to put this right and I wanna make a real solid offer to you. Somebody has realized who they nearly lost permanently. Um, I also see with the with the Knight of Cups how he's looking back um, I feel as if the person is looking back at the situation that they were in with you looking back and just say you know something I'm not I'm not even focusing on that anymore there's this real sense of determination as they're holding the cup in their hands they are definitely they're like looking back we're not even sort of looking really it's, it's like a glance back and really thinking to themselves you know if i didn't make that move to come out and offer this cup of love offer this apology i would have been there all the time and i probably would have missed my air sign person um and they are i mean this is definitely something that is for real they're coming in for real and obviously where it's up in the air this is clarity this is clearly what they want. They clearly know what they want. So they're definitely coming in with this, um, with this sense of, um, it's, it's, it's urgency, but it's a little bit of fear as well that's intertwined into this because the reluctant thing is, is that they may have missed the boat with you. And I feel maybe this is why you're in such a dilemma. You're not waiting for this person. You're not waiting for them. I feel you're more waiting for your ships to come in with regards to your enterprises okay for some of you this is to do with businesses that's, that you're trying to set up if you're looking for your suppliers you with you waiting for your ships to come in this could be about shipments that you're actually waiting to hear from okay i mean if you've got business in china um obviously the you know if things are running okay with them and clock like clockwork obviously wherever you're situated and based there could be delays coming in there so i do feel this this reading seems to be more to do with you know business owners right now than about love because right now you're like what's love got to do with my business okay unless that's part of what your business is but no you you're sort of like more focused on other, thi other things right now and i don't think you're actually going to realize that they're actually behind you because both of you are not even looking in the same direction do you see you're not even looking in the same direction. Um, I don't sense that this person, this Knight of Cups, is even noticing you, sort of like not focusing on them, but what they're trying to do is trying to get to you fast before you go. Now, I've got another two cards that's come out. I've got the Seven of Wands and I've got Major Arcana, the Hermit. So there is a lot of you guys, as I said, you're not in the mood for rubbish. You're not really in focusing on love right now. You're more focusing about what your next strategy is. What are you going to do next? What is the next plan? Where are you going with this? All right. I don't really feel that this is um, really to do. If you can see there. This isn't really to do with anything that is frivolous. You're very much looking down um, at this, you know, in the long term, in the long run, okay? Very wise energy that I'm picking up as well from the Emperor because of the Hermit card energy. I feel that like it's definitely somebody who is um, definitely about thinking first before making any, taking any action. Um, because you really can't afford to make mistakes. This is what I'm, I'm picking up here. 
okay the next card we've got for you guys is strength yeah you are so solid air sign nobody is messing around with you okay you may be dealing with the leo here this could be the leo that's coming through with an apology and they are you know they're the ones that actually want to offer you this solid um commitment offer offer an apology could be coming in as closure um but again i just feel that um you're kind of strong right now you're kind of strong right now and um i don't mean to make it sound um like sort of egotist or anything like that but i feel that this strength card this person that is in the strength card is you but I feel that they need to make sure that they can handle and deal with your energy if and when they approach because as I said you're definitely focused on you're single you're focusing on your monies and you're you know because you know that you only have yourself to support this really this situation has thrown everybody's perspective into some form of alignment and you're really now having to know that you need to rely on yourself you've only got yourself You've only got yourself. And this is, you know, this is about the concern and the worry that you've got into making sure that you are going to be definitely um, going to be all right, that you're going to definitely survive, that you're definitely going to have your business that is going to be um, popping. So let me just see. I'm going to just confirm, clarify the Emperor card and the Strength card. All right. So I want to know, because um, I do feel there's somebody that's coming in. So what can you tell me about the Emperor card for the air sign Aquarius, Gemini, Libra? How are they going to be feeling if this person comes back into their life? Because um, I don't think that you, there's, there's going to come time you're going to be so busy, you're not even going to, like you see this message, you'll be like, who? Who is this from? Who? Is this to do with um, a deal that I've been waiting for? Is this a person I've been waiting for? I feel that you're expecting somebody, you're really expecting a message to come through from somebody, but this person is the last person who you expect. Because the other one who you're waiting for is to do with your business. This person that's going to, it's like they're going to interject into your affairs and it's going to just throw you off slightly. So I just want to find out from the cards what is the mindset what like how are you going to respond to this person i'm a bit nervous but i just need to you know be interesting to know and i know you want to know as well okay so it seems to me you've got the justice card and you've got the king of souls um, in the reverse I'm going to take reversals here um, I feel that you are going to listen to what they have to say you're not going to be so cold with them but you've also um, for some of you guys for some of you guys um, these two cards major are kind of the justice card and then you've got the king of swords um, as I said this is about a legal issue that you, you're waiting on um, definitely to do your business but um, if this person is coming back to you um, the king of swords is that the mind is classed as sort of like the minor arcana of the justice card um i don't sense you've been totally cold with them and cutting them off you're going to be pleasantly surprised to hear from them however okay however air sign you've got your boundaries up and this is why I feel that this person has to put in some serious work. If they got, a, if they're coming to, they have to come correct. And this is why I feel that they've got this strength card, and it's, it's almost as if they're like praying to make sure that you know they, they're coming correct, that like they know exactly what they're going to say, that they know that because th th they're going to know straight away that you're not messing around. You're not messing around. You yourself know that you're not messing around. Okay. So what I see going on here is that you're not going to. You're not going to cut them off straight away. You're not going to blast them off time to get the hell away and oust them out. No, because you're going to be very, you're very diplomatic. Okay, air sign. Um, but what you're going to do, you're going to hear what they're going to say. Thank you so much for, you know, contacting me, blah, 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 blah. Um, however, at the moment, right now, I am in a situation of da, 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 da. Okay, if you are going to make things work between them, between the two of you, then that's, for you then to discuss in the next conversation or the response that you're going to get back from them will then indicate to you whether or not it's going to be feasible to continue with the relationship 
or the, in, in, to rekindle it or it's going to be I'm going to close this off because this is really I'm sorry to, you know for saying but it's going to be interfering with my affairs my business affairs and I'm at this stage in my life where I cannot afford to have anybody to come in and mess up my life for me because I do feel that this is what this person had done because they're coming in with the ace of cup um, sorry the ace of pentacles um, they've got the ace of cups in their hands with the knight of cups but I feel that the last time they weren't giving you anything stable so this is why you had to literally leave them behind and go and get your stability yourself so if they're gonna it's like they've seen you from afar really rise up so if and this is why I feel that there's this kind of like reluctancy and concern in, into thinking you know crap I'm gonna get blasted here all right because you're not playing so that's what you're getting that, that's the that's the vibe that I'm getting from you there okay very much listening to what they have to say but you've got your boundaries up um, but, but you're not going to be appearing to be very defensive against them and sort of standoffish but you're going to hear what they have to say all right because you do have their soft you do have a soft spot for them okay even though you may appear to be you know cold towards them but no you're going to hear what they're going to say right what is the strength card how is the strength card really feeling underneath what is the real feeling of the strength card how do they feel that they're going to deal with this okay let's see So, right okay so what we've got going on here there's a few cards that's falling out yeah they right so we've got the this is the two of ones okay so it's like the decision really has been made it's like the coming out of this decision okay um and it's like that no longer sort of like standing around it's like they're going to take action the strength card is in reverse here, so there is a fear okay there is this fear it's like they're putting up this front but this is a fear of it being backfired but this um the hierophant is here upright but the what is driving them forward is this drive to have a commitment with you they really want to have this commitment with you okay um at the bottom of this clarifying deck we've got the three of pentacles so i do see this um probably what working out at some stage um where you know but i do feel if this is about working things out it's going to be at your end where you like where you're going to be calling the shots to say okay if you want to be working with me if you want to be with me then you're going to have to work with me build with me together as a team okay and i don't mean you know like loads and loads and loads and loads of bedroom action okay but you, you we're going to have to work together as a team because this is the mindset that you're going to be on. This is your mindset right now, air sign. I need to be making my coins. I don't need to be making up my bed every morning because practically, you know, because we've been having sex every, every five seconds. That's not really going to be cutting it unless that is your profession. But that is not really um, where it's at with you right now okay you're about being an entrepreneur you're about you know a business owner so this person really has to come in and step up or they're going to have to step off and go because i feel that this is what's going to happen but from what i can see this they're going to be committed to work to working towards you all right so you don't have to worry in that aspect now let's finish off this reading with um love and light love and light deck and let's see what kind of messages that we've got so please gonna have two cards from the love and light deck God, I am compassionate yeah definitely you definitely because this is why I said I, I sense that you're not going to be in this energy of you know being very standoffish you do have a soft spot for them as I said I could you know I could sense that straight away um, and you will be pleasantly surprised to hear from them but I feel that right now um, you know it's it's really about you sort of like really working towards yourself at the moment and this one it says pray for someone you love today okay so you're not all about you're not all cold i feel that what there's what they've got going on here because this really these cards do really go really lovely together but what what it is is that you, you know i feel that they feel that you're really like cold and standoffish but this is not you you're very much a, you know you do have a soft spot 
but I just feel that right now your priorities really are for making sure that your finances are in order because you just don't want to be going through stress and struggles this right now in this time really is a, is a, a, you know a very struggling time for us okay so I feel that what right now um, you do have the compassion you, you still have the love there um, and you know I just feel also right now that this is about also really thinking about other people as well um, and thinking in ways that how can I help to improve the situation you help by improving the situation by making sure that you're solid within yourself that you can then go on to help people and to you know give give back and stuff like that you know re really much about that kind of um, philanthropic philanthropic kind of energy as well guys so that's what I've got for you I hope that you do like it guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel as well S sign this is your weekly reading for Monday the 23rd straight through to Sunday the 29th of March guys thank you so much take care bye